We're waiting on a customer to go get some feed so he can catch these horses right here. They want to run from him. And uh, there's one out there that we got to do a little shoeing on, so he's going to get some feed. When he gets back, he's going to get her caught and we'll get the shoe on. Sometimes that's why you got to do it, ain't it? Good afternoon. We are getting supper going. It's just a little bit after 3.30. I want to go ahead and get this in the oven. We're making meatloaf tonight. I should have sat this ground beef out because it is about to freeze my hand. I know this, but it'll be okay. The first thing we're going to put in here, two eggs. I haven't made a meatloaf in a long time. It's been quite a while since I made one. This is my mama's meatloaf recipe. You having fun? Manly said he's having fun. Onion, oops, I didn't cut that one up enough. So we got the eggs, onion, now we put salt and pepper. I've already got the oven preheated to 350. The meatloaf will probably get done before the beans, but that's okay, because I like for the meatloaf to sit out for a little bit. It's a little better when it has time to sit for a little while. Salt and pepper. One thing that I don't have that goes with mama's recipe is sweet salad cubes. I don't have any here, so we're going to substitute sweet relish instead. The sweet salad cubes are just little pickle cubes, and they're sweet, so kind of like the sweet relish, but just a little bigger. You can't really taste them when you add them in with the meatloaf. I mean, you kind of can. It just, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's really good, though. So I put in probably close to two tablespoons there of the sweet relish. I would do the same if it was salad cubes, two tablespoons. Now, the ketchup. I never measure this. I just squirt the ketchup in there and mix it up. Once I get the ketchup blended in a little bit, we're gonna put some crackers. We use saltine crackers. Woo, that's freezing. Are these salted? Hang on, I gotta make sure these are salted. One, yeah, they are. So we're putting in a whole sleeve of saltine crackers and I just crush them up. So there's gonna be big pieces, little pieces, cause they're gonna crush even more when we keep mixing it up here in a minute. That's it. I started to go ahead and make this last night and have it in the refrigerator so that I could just grab it out and stick it in the oven, but I completely forgot about it until I went to bed. I was like, oh yeah, I was going to make that meatloaf. Oh, it's so cold. We need more ketchup now. I'm just going to take this top off of the ketchup because we'll probably need every bit of it. Once we get the meatloaf in the oven, that's all we have to do for now. I'm going to make some cornbread, but I'll wait and make it in just a little bit. Manly and Jonah and Cece are wanting to go outside. Yuck, I just squirted that on my arm. Just get this ketchup mixed in. I'm just gonna spray this casserole dish and dump it in. Now, I don't put any ketchup on the top right now. I wait until it's done or almost done, and then I put some ketchup on the top. That way it keeps the pretty red color and doesn't turn all brown on top. All right, I came up here to put this Christmas quilt on Jonah's bed. I got his washed and Tyler's washed. They've been folded up in the closet for a few months and they were ready for their Christmas quilts since we have our Christmas quilt already on our bed. I have Jacob's in the washing machine now. This is what Tyler's and Jonah's look like. Really cute. We got theirs from the Three Bears General Store in Pigeon Forge. I'm pretty sure it was last year. They have good prices on quilts too, if you ever get to go there. It's in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And a lot of times, you can find them on clearance. And I'm pretty sure we found these on clearance. And this is their beds. Titus made these beds too. 
Um, I'll show y'all Jacobs when it comes out of the dryer. I'm about to switch them out here in just a minute. Now, Manly and Sissy need a Christmas quilt because last year, I think we had just got her a new comforter. So we're going to get her and Manly um, a Christmas quilt for their beds too. That's that car. You fell off the car. He's driving a pretend car around. How does the car sound? Go fell. You need to be riding boots instead of that pretend car, right? Okay. We're coming outside while the meatloaf and beans are cooking. <laughs> He's saying hello. Let them out, Manny. There you go. There you go. There you go. So yeah, I'm bringing him out to play for a little bit while the meatloaf and beans are cooking. And then in about 30 or 45 minutes, we'll go in and make the cornbread and I think I'm just gonna do corn on the cob with it. We have some spaghetti left over so if any of the kids want that they can have spaghetti too or spaghetti instead of meatloaf if they don't want the meatloaf. Jonah's using a feed scoop to try to catch leaves when they fall. I'm gonna get this one. They're very hard to catch. Somehow this welcome mat got over here on these steps. It's supposed to be over here and it's definitely seen its fair share of scrubbing boots. We already got half of them pinned. The other one's probably on the other side of the farm over there on the other side. Hunt them up, Chief. It's fun to train these dogs to find cattle. Come on, hunt them up. Push them out. Good boy. Get ahead of them, come on. He's having himself a time. He's about four and a half months old. Good boy. So we train them to push them cattle out of the brush just like he's going in there to do right now. That keeps us from having to try to get off our horse to get the cattle out of the woods. See how he's pushing them out of the woods? Good boy! That's what we train them to do is to find the cattle because sometimes we get called out to catch cattle that has been out for several weeks and we don't know where they are if they're way up in the woods somewhere. Push them up! These dogs help find them. Good job. Push them up. Push them. Push them. Push them. Push them. Push them. Push them. See how he brought them right around out of them woods. Pushed them right around the pond. And he's getting out in front of them. That's kind of what they're bred to do too is to he'll bring that back. Anyway, what they do is uh, they surround the cattle and hold them up for you so you can get to them. We don't have to rope them every time. We would rather not have to rope them if we can just pin them. We use our own cattle several times a week to, to train these puppies. Of course, I'm dealing with different cell barn calves all the time. They don't really get dog roped. So. But anyway, that's to deal with the roping. We don't rope them if we don't have to. These dogs help us if we have to hold them up a minute way up in the woods somewhere so we can get to them and catch them for the farmers. Push them up! Okay, I'm checking Jacob's quilt. His really isn't a Christmas quilt. It can be an any time of the year quilt. It's not really, it doesn't have any Christmas. I mean, it's got some trees, but they're inside the bear. Like that, see, they're inside the bear. So his is really an any time of the year quilt, but he switches it out in the summer. It needs a few more minutes, it's not quite dry. They'll be excited when they come home and their quilts are on the bed. I'm gonna go ahead and take these clothes out and just put them over here so I can go ahead and start another load. It's a laundry afternoon. I think this, when I start this load, it'll be my fourth one. This weather changing has my throat acting crazy. That's why I sound kind of funny. All right, we'll get these started and then we make the cornbread. That's a quick tip on how to get ahead. Clothes in the dryer aren't done yet. Just sit the ones that were in the washer on top of the dryer while you wait so you can start another load. Not today, laundry. I'm gonna win, well, for today anyway. 